Breaking news regarding the petroleum subsidy remover. Nigerian Governors Forum to meet with labor union over the planned strike. Remember Kayode, uh, the governor of Ekiti State, Fayemi, is the chairman of the Nigerian Governors Forum. And um, he has been negotiating. Yesterday we saw the Senate President Ahmed Lawa says the governors are confused that the president is not uh, talking about. I mean, there have been different words, so they all sound confused. One is saying this, one is saying another. At the end of the day, there is no true reflection on really sincerely speaking what is going on and how these things are playing out there is one saying this there is another one saying another so the words are neither here nor there we don't even understand who is saying what and what i mean zenab will come and tell you that in january february uh very soon they will begin to implement first subsidy ahmed lawa will come and tell you buhari did not say so the nigerian governors will say if buhari tries it they will do this day. So if you look at it, there is a lot of confusion in the, in the Nigerian political space and some of them are attributing this to Buhari's dementia. So please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like or share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. Breaking news, petroleum subsidy remover. Nigerians governors forum to meet with labor union over the planned strike. The Nigerians governors forum says it will meet with organized labor union in how to best address the removal of the petroleum subsidy. Speculations that the price of petrol will be increased have stirred up reactions among Nigerians, with the Nigerian Labor Congress, NLC, threatening to embark on a strike action if the federal government goes ahead and uh, with his proposed plan. This was about Zenab Ahmed, Minister of Finance, announced announcement she made in November that the federal government would remove fuel subsidies in 2022 and replace with a 5,000 Naira monthly transportation grant to poor Nigerians. Speaking with journalists at the end of the forum's meeting on Thursday, Kayode Fayemi, NLG, Chairman, Nigerians Governors Forum Chairman, with the 36 state governors, met and discussed issues of national importance, including the removal of petroleum subsidy and the Electoral Act Amendment Bill. We discussed the issue around petrol subsidy and conclude to engage with leadership of the Nigerian Labour Congress, NLC, and the Trade Union Congress, he said. We will engage them on how best to address this issue without causing any disaffection with a view of subliding Nigerian economy for the Nigerian at the end of the day will be the ones to suffer. So we shall be engaging the NLC as subnational leaders and with a view of ensuring that the outcome of our engagement will also be fed into the nation's discourse. On the recommendations of the National Economic Council, the petrol shall be sold for 302 naira per liter. Fayemi said the matter was not a discussion of the governors, but an an exclusive responsibility of the federal government to look into the plight of the people. He added that though it was the responsibility of NEC, the governors were contributing to debates and to ensure that Nigerians are well looked after. Fayemi also concluded that the Senate recommended the Senate for accelerating the removal of the clause in the Electoral Amendment Bill. So, I mean, so like I said, a set of confused people. Yes, very confused set of people. Why, um, you know, Minister of Finance, Zenab, like I earlier reiterated, came out in November of 2021 and told Nigerians that, yes, so it was time to remove a petroleum subsidy and that uh, the nation will have to uh, brace up because uh, Buhari was ready to remove petroleum subsidy and everybody should rise up to the occasion because um, petroleum subsidies will be removed. 
you know and the nigerians began to shout already you know how much you buy you buy these things now you buy four we all know how much these things are you know and right now you are not telling us that they want to remove what again this is not fair now eh? what are what are you saying how do you care for the people the so-called people you said you were looking after how do you care for them because what is happening now is unimaginable, it's terrible, and it's bad, very bad. So the best thing to do is that we should, you know, get on with it and get things sorted out so that at the end of the day, we are not left hang and trying. Everybody must have that opportunity to be able to, you know, do things worthwhile that will bring about transformation, true transformation that will make Nigeria a better place for everybody. Because currently what we have, we have a set of people who are doing their own thing, yeah, to a large extent, doing whatever suits them, and they don't care what goes on with the common man or woman on the streets. The truth of the matter is, what is going on right now clearly says to every one of us that if we don't rise up to the occasion and come out of the, you know, the uncertainties that some set of people have created for us in the terms, you know, in terms of, uh, uh, you know, good leadership that could potentially solve the situation of which we find ourselves, we may still be going around in circles. We may still very for a very long time be going around in circles. And that's why everybody must come out of it. And, you know, when these guys are saying we need to fight for our right and ensure that, you know, Buhari do not take us for a ride. Because if the price of petroleum products begins to go up again, it will affect you. It will affect me. It will affect us. So keeping quiet and saying nothing is going to affect every single person. So the best thing to do is that we all lend our voices, we all speak out at it, and we do not allow them to, you know, take us for a ride. That's what they're doing. That's what they've started doing already. So when we all stand up and say, no, this is not accepted, this is not right, then they know that we are serious. You know, the Senate and, the, you know, some other persons have been working tirelessly to see to it that Buhari makes the right choice in terms of leadership you know, in terms of governing the people, because at the end of the day, whatever decision Buhari is making, you may not like it, but it affects you, it affects me, it affects us. So the best thing for us all to do is for us all to, you know, join our voices, lend our voices and say, no, how do you, how do you explain that you want to give 5,000 naira, like she explained to um, house owners, uh, I mean, to poor people in the, in the community, how do you identify them? What's your premise of identification? How do you know that these are the poor ones? The poor ones don't even have bank accounts. Let's start from there. They don't even have bank accounts. So who exactly are you engaging in that front? Leave us a comment. God bless you. Bye for now.